Support for WCBU Reports comes from State Farm Agent Aaron Kilgore, a Peoria native providing auto, home, and life insurance. More at AaronIsMyAgent.com. This is Morning Edition from NPR. I'm Tim Shelley with WCBU Reports. This cluster of urban greenery running along six blocks of Western Avenue near Bradley University may not seem like anything terribly remarkable to a casual passerby. But this grassroots park isn't quite like any other in Peoria. The Western Avenue Greenway Project isn't managed by the city or the park district, but by neighbors themselves. Anyway, really nobody's ever considered this a park. You know, this park district doesn't have anything to do with it, but... It really kind of is. I mean, people always thought, or maybe still think, it's just private land that you're not supposed to be on. But that's not the right. That's not the case. So you obviously. guys don't care if someone comes up here and sits on no. the bench or no. That's Jim Donahue. His father, who was also named Jim, was one of the people who first helped get the project started back in the 1980s when the widening of Western Avenue changed this neighborhood. Jim and I took a walk up and down the east side of Western on a recent muggy September morning. He occasionally picks up a discarded bottle or can as we chat. Well, there used to be houses all, yeah. all along here. Not, not great houses, you know. Yeah. So uh, he was able to, to find, you know, funding and whatever to buy the houses, get them torn down, and then start this project. Jim recently retired, and he's now responsible for maintaining a tract of the Greenway. He's also the organization's newest treasurer. That's a job he inherited from Dan Callahan, a retired florist who lives in the Moss Bradley neighborhood. Callahan says longtime neighbor, urban planner, and community activist Don Luby deserves a lot of credit for the Greenway idea first forming. This was a quality of life thing. Opportunity, Peoria had uh, oversupply of housing and this rebuild of Western Avenue from basically two lane to four lane really compromised those houses. Don said, why don't we create a linear park out of the housing stock that's going to be uh, de- um, degraded due to the widening and turn Uh, lemon into lemonade. Callahan and I take a stroll down another section of the Western Avenue Greenway. We pause as we hit upon a shady spot that offers a welcome reprieve from the late morning sun. You notice how cool it is? Oh yeah. There is almost never a day that we don't have a, a breeze that allows us to work here. Because of the the tree cover. Oh right. Because of the uh, sheltering of some of these little places. Still, this urban oasis doesn't continue without the constant attention of people willing to give their time and treasure towards it. At one point, I mingled with volunteers who showed up for a pop-up caretaking event as Dan and a chainsaw-wielding neighbor discuss a nearby tree in need of some attention. I mean, you never know where life's going to take you, right? That's but, true. Yeah. That's true, but right now it's taking you to the green It's taken me to the Greenway. Dan says the connections you make are one of the things that make the Western Avenue Greenway Project something special. One neighbor allows volunteers to use water from his house to keep the plants hydrated during the recent drought conditions. But the group is at a moment of flux when it comes to funding. Callahan says the park district may be able to assist, but the Greenway will still remain community managed. Upcoming work days are set for October 19th and the 26th. There's more information about how to help on WCBU.org. For WCBU Reports, I'm Tim Shelley. The candidates for November are set. I know Donald Trump's tight. Between now and Election Day. We are not going back. A campaign season unfolding faster. Kamala Harris is not getting a promotion. Than any in recent history. Make America great again. Follow it all with new episodes every weekday on the NPR Politics Podcast.